What would you say to somebody who's going to run from Death Valley, Stovepipe, all the way to Mount Whitney, up Mount Whitney, and then back down again, to do it all over again? I don't go out in the middle of the heat of the noon day Even flies don't. do what they do. <laughs> Every other species goes by instinct. You know, in Death Valley, you don't see any animal out in the daytime. Oh, it's, yeah, it's crazy. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't buy that do it. I wouldn't go to bad water today in an air-conditioned car. with a Mount Whitney summit. So basically, Badwater is 135 miles to Death Valley to the portal of Mount Whitney, known as the world's toughest run. I have done that, completed that race twice, and I am now going to do a double Badwater, and I'm not gonna stop halfway up Mount Whitney, I'm gonna go all the way to the top of Mount Whitney and back. The main measure for a race like Badwater, it's your epic meter. How much pain did you have to go through for how many days to make it? So if I don't have pain, odds are it's not an epic race for me and it's, it's, it bores me. Year. Instead of going to bigger shoes, we're going to keep ice in my feet and bringing the swelling down. I think I'm faster that way. New strategy. I'm on your payroll. Watch out. Dude, I love you, man. I you got a lot of money to waste. I'm joining the team. I love it. I'm spending my retirement. You want to hear about it? Keep it how it's going now? Would you like hot sauce with that, man? <laughs> <laughs> I can see you at Taco Bell. <laughs> you know, and then I'm like going, I'm saying, like, I'll be working the window. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Thank you, man! Show up in summer! 
<laughs> so, stands all so, over the world. We were having a talk about how the climate was just right all day. <laughs> perfect vacation weather. 120 to 130 is perfect. I'm sure I'm going to have a tan to dive for this. 15 miles from stovepipe, mile 25, and it's toasty. Smoking hot, man. This is just a double check. What was I at? I forgot. 203. You are 203. Okay. It's helping. The scarf, the ice scarf is helping, man. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> that was a uh, resilient idea. many miles from uh, stovepipe. Um, it's agonizingly hot. Uh, it's so hot that the van, the air conditioner in the van has gone out. It's just blowing hot air. Uh, I'm the hottest I've ever been in my life. I don't know how much more I can take it. This must be a hot year if the air conditioning ain't working that good, huh? Yeah, it's kind it's of hot. It's on full blast, so it's and you, and you can't even hardly, it doesn't yeah, feel that hot. Everything it has in this must be really hot. Dan the man said, don't say how hot it is. 130. Ha 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 130. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, it really feels like about 129. <laughs> Kenny Evans. I'm a physicist by trade. Do a lot of software development, um, algorithm development. I'm also an endurance slash ultra endurance athlete. I've competed in Ironman, and ultra marathons. I've uh, been a double Ironman, a triple Ironman, and also this last winter, winter um, right across the Atlantic. Um, I'm just a support crew member. Uh, I'll be doing basically anything that needs to be done, driving a vehicle, um, pacing it becomes necessary. Bill is one of the most awesome men I've ever met. <laughs> um, I don't know much about Bill. We are all being introduced together within the past 24 hours, so. What do you think about um, Bill's challenge right now and uh, Bill himself? Um, seriously? Yes. Uh, just idiotic, stupid, ridiculous. I think it's just absolutely insane. I have to confess, I thought that the uh, bad water course was very, very flat and then it, it raised up. Um, towards the end, I had no idea that 
there are actually three mountain passes, the one at the far end and then two in the middle. Um, but I'm shocked that it is conceivable it's still 100 